problem-based learning strategy in teaching mathematics. Problem-based learning is a teaching method in which complex real-world problems are used as the vehicle to promote student learning of concepts and principles as opposed to the representation of facts and concepts. In addition to course content, PBL can promote the development of critical thinking skills, problem-solving abilities, and communication skills. It can also provide opportunities for working in groups, finding and evaluating research materials, and lifelong learning. Problem-based learning is a student-centered, inquiry-based instructional model in which a learner engages with an authentic, ill-structured problem that requires further research. Components of problem-based learning are the following. First, a question that guides an investigation. Second, hands-on learning experiences. Lastly, a solution to the question in the form of a presentation. Characteristics of PBL Problem-based learning is an educational approach whereby the problem is a starting point of the learning process. The type of problem is dependent on the specific organization. Usually, the problems are based on real-life problems which have been selected and edited to meet educational objectives and criteria. However, it could also be a hypothetical problem. It is crucial that the problem serves as the basis for the learning process because this determines the direction of the learning process and places emphasis on the formulation of a question rather than on the answer. This also allows the learning content to be related to the context which promotes student motivation and comprehension. It is essential that the directing force is consistent with the way the assessment drives the educational method. Importance of PBL PBL and technology use bring a new relevance to the learning at hand. PBL promotes lifelong learning. PBL accommodates students with varying learning styles and differences. It shows the child's ability to apply desired skills such as doing research. It develops a child's ability to work with his or her peers, building teamwork and group skills. It allows the teacher to learn more about the child as a person. It helps students develop skills for living in a knowledge-based, highly technological society. There are five problem-based learning models. Attainment of knowledge, PBL for professional work, PBL for interdisciplinary comprehension, PBL for cross-discipline learning, and PBL for critical competence. Theory Supporting PBL John Piaget's Constructivism Theory is a theory in education that recognizes the learner's understanding and knowledge based on their own experiences prior to entering school. It is associated with various philosophical positions, particularly in epistemology as well as ontology, politics, and ethics. Levi Gotsky's Social Constructivist Theory this theory shows that students learn from each other. They can assist one another and co-construct knowledge. Students of different readiness levels will work together in groups when they do discover activities such as problem-based learning activities. Study of the PBL strategy. Study from Slovenia looked at where students who learn with PBL are better at solving problems and if their attitudes towards mathematics were improved compared to their peers in a more traditional curriculum. The study found that students who were exposed to PBL were better at solving more difficult problems. However, there was no significant difference in student attitude towards mathematics. These are some researches that support PBL. First is the impacts of implementing problem-based learning in mathematics, a review of literature. Second is the problem-based learning influence on students learning in an electrical engineering course. So now I'm going to show you a sample lesson plan. So that's all guys. I hope you learned something. Thank you.